I'm settling down. My text go to screen. You know better than that. I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty. You thinking that the song's coming home. And What's going on, Clan fam? It's been a minute. It has been a minute. Actually, it's been probably about two minutes. Three minutes max. But I am back. And to kick things off, to start it back up, I'm going to be playing some NCAA College Hoops 2K. Now, I know what you're saying. Oh, here we go. Another legacy for old clam sword not to finish. Well, you're wrong. I'm finishing this one. I'm going all 40 years. I think it's 40 years on this game. We're doing every single year possible. It's happening. I don't care what you say. I'm finishing the shit. I'm going to be uploading as much as I possibly can. Now, again, like I said, it's going to be a full legacy. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what the plan is, but we're just going to we're just going to wing it here. Screw it. Let's do it. All right, so here are the settings for the legacy right now. Let's go ahead and maybe change some of these. Number of users, 1. Half length. Uh, I'll change that to 6. Simulated half length will leave where it is. Entries, I'm turning off. This game is horrendous when it comes to injuries. Like you'll get injuries where guys are out for 300 and like 400 days sometimes and it completely fucks your team not doing that. Player transfers, that's a part of college basketball, especially now. So we're leaving that on. Players leave early. We will leave on. People can go to the draft, whatever. It's no big deal. Pop-up help. I'm a pro at this game. Get the hell out of here. Customized conferences. Only problem with that is I'd love to make the Big Ten what it actually is now, which is like 14 teams. But in order to put a team in a conference, you have to take a team out of that conference. So you have to trade teams. We ain't doing that. Customized schedule. Obviously leaving on. We're not playing the same freaking schools every year. Coach Tubbs. He's here. And he's ready. And he's going to be six foot ten. He's a, he's a giant. Coach Tubbs is a giant. Look at this guy. You wouldn't want to fuck with this guy. No way. Let's go through the attributes. What do we want? What do we want for Coach Tubbs? Well, we got to get guys to come to our school. We got to have that charisma. High charisma keeps your players' confidence up and gives your recruiting actions more impact. We need that. We need to get guys that want to be at our school. We got to have that charisma. We got to get studs on this team or else. Now, picking a team. You know what? Yeah, we're going to pull the trigger. We're going to Texas State. Screw it. That's where we're going. San Marcos, Texas. Let's take a look at their team. 9-20 and 20 last season. 4-12 and 12 in the conference. Not good. Team unity. Two bars out of six. Big yikes. Arena capacity. Stray Hand Coliseum. 7,200 people can attend. Midnight Madness is called Baskets, Burgers, and Bobcats. Attendance, 17%. Oh boy, we got our, we got our work cut out for us here, boys. Let's go ahead and hop on in, check out the roster. We got a 70 overall junior. That's pretty decent, honestly. Um, hopefully he can just bully some teams and lead us to some wins. We got another junior, 65 overall. Prosper Flores. Hopefully he prospers out on the basketball court. <laughs> okay. Job security already not at halfway. That's nice. <laughs> Wait, well, come on, man. So my goal right now, by the end of this series, I'm hoping that every single one of these legacy goals is checked off. That's the goal. Accumulate 900 wins. Yeah, that one's going to be tough. Okay, so let's go ahead, hop on into recruiting. First things first, let's take a look at the lineup. So we're not going to win a whole lot of games. Now again, we're probably not going to get a lot of these guys because we're Texas State. But we'll go ahead and recruit. Why not? So recruiting is done for week one. Nice. First off, we're going to we're gonna skip the... 
whatever the hell, Bobcats, burgers, and buns, and all that shit. We're gonna skip that. So basically, what I'm doing is, and I'm probably wasting a lot of assets on these guys as far as like traveling and stuff, because at the end of the day, these guys are probably not coming to Texas State. I mean, these guys are gonna get scholarship offers, I'm sure, from, uh, you know, big time schools, so they're not gonna wanna come here. But right now, just making the call, just putting myself in front of them, being like, hey, you know what? If you came to Texas State, you would be an absolute legend. You'd be a legend. Come to Texas State where you will be the guy. You won't just be another guy. Like at Kansas, no one's going to remember these guys. But if you come to Texas State, you'll be remembered forever. That's my recruiting pitch. Okay, so this guy... We're coming up on the early signing period. This guy still doesn't have a scholarship from anybody, so that is good. This guy also hasn't gotten a scholarship, so I don't know if people are slow playing or what's going on. We're going to send him a scholarship, Joseph Tamayo, Tamayo Tomato. We're going to send this guy a scholarship. Problem is, we don't have enough scholarships to give everyone but we're gonna do our best here so again of course some of these guys probably aren't going to accept the scholarships that's fine so it's basically a trickle-down effect if one guy doesn't accept a scholarship then I'll give it to the next guy maybe he'll actually be grateful for it alright so this guy got a scholarship we might as well just I mean I'll keep recruiting him but I don't think he's going to be coming to Texas State, unfortunately. Um, that's just that's just not how it works. If they get a scholarship from someone, like a high that's high on their list, they usually don't give a crap about you from there on out. It's hard. There, there's just so much ground you have to make up, and you don't have enough time to do it, unfortunately. So um, we'll keep recruiting him. Maybe maybe Arkansas will sign someone, and they'll have to take away. That scholarship offer, that's the only hope we have right now. If that happens, that would be very good for us. But I, I just don't see that happening. It's a four-star. We lose our first game. Nice. And we lose our second game. Cool. I will go after this Emon guy because so far, he doesn't have a scholarship offer. Oklahoma State probably did not offer him a scholarship because they're recruiting other guys right now. They have other, they have other targets that they're worried about. And Amon needs to understand, hey, you know what? You're our guy right now. You're our guy. And honestly, hopefully he does not get a scholarship towards the end of the season. Because if he doesn't, we'll just throw we'll, we'll throw a scholarship to him and be like, hey, here you go. You know, you're our guy. We want you here. So come on down to Texas State. And we lose to UT Pan American. What is this? Can someone explain this to me? Why are we why are we so bad? And we're gonna go ahead and invite Amon to campus. He's not going to sign in the early in the early signing period. It's just not going to happen, unfortunately. But what I'm hoping is Arkansas ends up taking in somebody else and they take away his scholarship offer. That's the only hope we have right now. All right, so Bozak did not sign with Arkansas. Ugh. But he's probably going to because Arkansas did not take his scholarship away. Uh, Vukasic. He's up to an 82 overall interest. I don't want to take anyone else's scholarship away, though. I think that would be damaging to our recruiting process right now. I guess I could technically take away Jesus's or Jesus. We'll do that. Sorry, dude. We'll, we'll come back and recruit you later on. I'm not really uh, too concerned with you right now. Vukasic is our number one target. So there we go. Now, hopefully that puts the pressure on the other teams. So like, hey, you know what? We don't really... We don't want this guy as bad as this other team does. So maybe, just maybe, they'll back out of the race. And it's... Okay, that's not the guy I was just worried about. Oh my 
god, dude. Really? Really? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They threw him a scholarship as soon as I did. Fuck off, Oklahoma State. Wow, that sucks. Alright, well, you know what? You're not a target anymore. You're not a target. Get off my list. Stupid. Just stupid. Alright, fuck it. Nicola. I'm not even. Misha. You know, it's gonna be a problem when I'm trying to coach these guys and I don't even know how to pronounce their names. Alright, well, we'll get Lawrence Soroye. And we'll just keep on recruiting. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end. I'll show you guys the record and all that. I just wanted to kind of break down what I was doing, what I was trying to do anyways. And uh, I'll go ahead, keep recruiting, doing the weekly calls, emails, all that. You guys probably don't want to see all of that. I don't want to see all that, but i got to do it. And I will uh, show you guys what our record is at the end of the year see if we make the tournament probably not but let's see so the season is practically over and we are horrendous we're probably the worst team in the NCAA 5 and 16 really well we're not Southeast Louisiana is 3 and 18 they're 1 and 11 in conference okay so we're not we're not the worst but we're we're not good Tamayo us and LCC I still don't know who that is I'm trying to I, I don't know who that is I'm trying to think is it Calcutta? Is that who it is? Louisiana Calcutta College? I don't... I No, that's UCC. I don't freaking know. Anyways, whatever. We're simming the rest of the year. Screw it. Stephen F. Austin. We lose. What a surprise. Sam Houston State. We win. Okay. The end season recruiting period is over. I know. Thank God. Don't got to get on any more planes. Don't got to go to any more airports. Don't got to send out any more emails. And we beat UT Arlington. And we don't even make our conference tournament, it doesn't look like. No, we do not. We finished the season 7-17. Seven and 17. Let's take a look at... Job security is dwindling. Not good. We really... Hopefully the recruiting trail is good to us because if it's not, we might be in trouble next year. I might have to play the, the freshmen that are coming in. Kentucky wins the national championship. They beat Fordham by like, I don't even know what it said. Losing four guys, good riddance. He didn't do anything for this team. Job security went back up. That's good. I'll take that. Attributes. I have three. We'll throw that on Charisma. We've got an A-plus Charisma. That's great. Coach Tubbs, you have not been with your current team long enough to get any offers. That's fine. Go ahead and visit this guy at home. We're in a dogfight right now. We're probably not going to get this guy, unfortunately. Go ahead and email these guys. Not sure why that's all we can do. That's not good. That is not good. We might strike out. We might strike out on all recruits. Let's go, man. Joseph Tamayo, welcome to the team, bro. Hell yeah. We got Nicola. We got Lawrence. Sign a world recruit, okay? Got another attribute coming in. That's what I'm talking about. We're looking good. So maybe throw Joseph, put Joseph at the one, Nicola at the two, and then Lawrence. Honestly, if we get someone else at the power forward, we can maybe throw Lawrence at the three or we'll throw this guy if we get him again it's gonna be it's gonna be tough sledding because we got a week remaining in the season or the off season anyways recruiting wise we got Misha and hey there we go there's our class for the year I will take that I think that is a really good class that is a really good class. Let's compare it to the other teams in the conference. I'd say we got the best... The best class in the conference. 
I mean, we got a we got a recruit here that's 103 overall. That's that's damn good. I'm gonna go ahead in this part here. I don't know how long it lasted, and we're gonna go ahead and hop into next season. That'll be the next episode. I'm I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna maybe do a couple seasons per episode. This one I kind of wanted to get a get the foundation for this series and get it all out there. First season, that's what it is. This is what it's going to be. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, or if you do, or if you're excited, or whatever, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know whenever I upload. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so whenever I post a video, it goes in your subscription box. And I'm glad to be back. I'm happy. I got a new microphone. I got a new desk. I got a, com a, a computer that I can depend on. I'm excited to be back. And I hope you guys are excited too. Those of you who have stuck around and are still subscribed, I apologize. It's been like six months since I uploaded. I just haven't had, you know, I've been going through a move. I've been trying to get stuff figured out as far as my equipment and all that. But hopefully... Hopefully this becomes a regular thing again. So, anyways, I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucker!